my life experience has taught me that there's one thing that keeps you going is just that passion that you've got inside of you. You've got to deliver it. You've got to show it. And I've been in a community which have been really supportive um, and I wanted to do something again, give something back. So the Oxford Homeless Project is something I set up um, about three and a half years ago in Ramadan. So it's the month of fasting. Charity is absolutely massive um, in Ramadan and food is a, a big part of that. And you know, when you spend the whole day fasting, you literally realize how you know, difficult it is to be hungry all day. When we had this huge feast at the end of each meal, I was finding it really difficult to think, well, you know, we've got all this food, you know, we should be sharing it with other people. Um, so that's when I went into town with all the food that we had left over. Um, and I asked a few people I saw on the street and I asked them if they'd want some food. And, you know, the look on their faces was just, um, I couldn't explain it. It just made them so happy that they were being offered something to eat. And then when I was driving home that day, I was, it just made me think, you know, it can't be that hard to surely, you know, arrange food for people. It's something they desperately appreciate and it's something that's something we take for granted. So I did a post, I did a massive social media post to all my family and friends. I said, look, you know, I've just given out all this food and surely it's something we can do on a regular basis. And then, you know, the response I got was amazing. Everyone said, yeah, let's do something. And that's where it started. Yeah, so um, it's quite bizarre. I had this letter coming through the post. Um, it's a lovely yellow envelope and I thought this looks quite posh. I can remember coming home for work, it was quite a long day and I sort of opened it, read it and said there was um, that I'd been awarded the British Empire Medal. It didn't really register, I thought, oh, okay, maybe it's for somebody else. I had to look at the cover again, thinking maybe it's come to the right house. I mean, obviously the work we do, we do it for the sake of helping people and it's something I will always do, but you know, this is, it's just a bit of icing on the cake, isn't it? I think there's a desperate need to do something more. How can we accept people living on the streets? Some might find it difficult to just comprehend. So when I see somebody who looks a bit heartbroken, I want to help because, you know, when I had my tough days, people were there to support me and that's what got me through it. And now, you know, I feel privileged that I'm in this position where I can help others. If you want to help, there are a million ways. You don't have to register, you don't need to be you don't need to be qualified in anything particular, all you need to do is have a heart. Sometimes what people need is not just food, they just need someone to listen to, they need someone to show that they care. What we need is you to just contribute in terms of your compassion, contribute in terms of your time, contribute in terms of being more hands-on, bake a cake, or whatever it is you're into. Some people love making crumbles, make us a crumble. Some people like to make a bread or butter pudding, make that. Some people like to do soups. So what we say is whatever it is that you cook at home for yourself, Make a dish and bring it along.